Sometimes an amazing piece of history happens, but eventually it could be forgotten over time. That might have been the case about a big train wreck in Erie that mm -hmm. occurred in 1945. Unfortunately, some photographs were found that brings us back to that particular day in the city's history. John Lash shares those with us in tonight's edition of The Last One. It's quiet along the railroad tracks near Downing Avenue on Erie's east side. But 77 years ago, there was an accident involving two trains that took place around this location that was pretty spectacular. But not many people know about it. History buffs can now learn all about it, thanks to some photographs found in a storage room at the Conneaut Railroad Museum in Conneaut, Ohio. The main subject in the story is this majestic locomotive that is on display every day at the museum grounds. It's the Nickel Plate Railroad Steam Engine 755. The 755 was heading west, pulling some freight cars on April 3, 1945. Surprisingly, the rear of another train came into view. That train, making local deliveries, was pulling out of a sidetrack near Downing Avenue by mistake. And it just happened that that train was, was there at just about the wrong time, I guess you could say. The impact caused the huge 755 locomotive to roll onto its side. The locomotive weighed 400 tons, including 22 tons of coal, a ton of sand, and 22,000 gallons of water. Five of its freight cars also derailed. And then once it's off the track, it's forward momentum, because it was probably doing 60 mile an hour, so that's a lot of momentum to try to stop on a dime. You can't do it. You can easily imagine the impact of the crash by looking at the photographs. You can almost sense what it was like to see that huge locomotive fall on its side. There's cramped quarters inside the 755, but according to reports in the Erie and Conneaut newspapers, no one on board was seriously injured. The newspaper report said three freight cars on the other train also derailed. Fortunately, no one on that train was seriously injured. And I'm sure that the trainmen that were riding, uh, riding on the local, uh, probably in the caboose, were, uh, saw, it in, uh, saw it soon enough that they actually jumped off and they were not hurt. Large cranes were brought in to lift the 755 back onto the track. The spectacle of the massive locomotive on its side brought many Erie citizens to the scene just to take a look. Now we can too, thanks to these photographs. With a last word along the railroad tracks near Downing Avenue in Erie, John Last, Erie News Now. And the 755 was in service for only eight months. When the crash occurred, damages were $20,000, which equals wow. about $300,000 in today's economy. Yeah, and you can see the big 755 locomotive for yourself by visiting the Conneaut Railroad Museum.